Hey ladies, welcome back to In Between Friends. I am Erin and this is Rebecca. And we are coming to talk to you today about one of Rebecca's most looked forward to topics. I literally had to draw her to this topic today. We're gonna talk about sex. That's right, you heard it. We're gonna talk about sex. Um, specifically sex during pregnancy. We're not gonna get into the nitty gritty, folks. We're not gonna get into the nuts and bolts. You've got that on your own, you're pregnant, okay? <laughs> You know, you know what's going on. But I mean, I think it's, it's a huge part of pregnancy um, when we kept kind of batting it around, but ultimately sex drives will increase or decrease on either side, right. male or female during pregnancy. Um, so, you know, we need to talk about maybe how you can transition into that phase and what you should anticipate from that phase and yeah. just kind of the basics about it. Yeah. And um, let me just tell you that I, um, she's already struggling uh, over her words. Uh, raw, raw. I am uncomfortable with the topic being so public because it was never talked about in my youth. So this is not something that we grew up talking about at all. So we talked about it all the time. Yeah. And so there's a different level of comfort. Now this would kind of show you an example of a possible conversation that you and your husband may have because maybe you do not talk about sex, which I find it uncomfortable. So that's not something that I would bring up. Meanwhile, this one would be like, yo, let's talk about it. No problem. But that increase of sex drive or the decrease, and it, again, it can, hormones can ramp up. Your mm -hmm. pregnancy hormones can ramp up your drive. It can slow it down. Mm -hmm. The same for your husband. It's normal. It's so normal yeah. to see differences. Just as it is with any life transition, right. you're going to find a difference in, in that portion of your life. Mm -hmm. So the main thing, communicate. Mm -hmm. The worst thing you would want is to leave it at not communicated about, and then you think, oh, he's rejecting me. He no longer wants this body because it's fat that's like before you're showing and mm -hmm. you just feel like whatever. Or he thinks the same thing and you're just like, I'm just nauseous all the time. Yeah. It's not you, it's me. So that communication kind of makes things really, really clear and it helps expectations as well. Yeah. And you have to give a little bit of legitimacy to the to the man as well. Yeah. We've talked sure. about that before in the pregnancy. While their body may not be the one experiencing the pregnancy, they are going through it. And so they do have their own way of of expressing certain aspects during it. Yeah, and they, I mean, some men have funky things about, my wife's pregnant. Yeah. I don't want to hurt her. I don't want to hurt the baby. Yeah. And honestly, most doctors will tell you, unless you have a, a high-risk pregnancy or there's some kind of complication, that sex during preg pregnancy is absolutely normal. In fact, in the end of your pregnancy, it's actually good because it helps loosen things up down there, mm -hmm. um, getting you ready for birth. So again, it's that um, just finding out what's comfortable for both of you, mm -hmm. making sure that you're communicating about that, making sure it's safe medically for you and the baby mm -hmm. and then just talk it through it mm -hmm. and what do you what else do you think i think ultimately after communicating you have to compromise i agree i think erring on the side of either one whether you're yay we're going to nay we're not necessarily yeah. meeting the needs of one isn't going to be beneficial for both no so you got to meet in the middle and you've yeah. got to figure out what works for you but again that hinges on your communication and your yeah. ability to figure out where that middle is and remember that your marriage is priority mm -hmm. i really think that your marriage is priority but sometimes we women go into freak out mode when we're pregnant and think oh it's all about me yeah everything this is my center of gravity it's my center of being yeah and it's not. You yeah. really have to make sure that you're including him and, and keeping life kind of as normal as it was. Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree. So kind of the, the two C's, communication and compromise. Love it. Yeah. So we hope this didn't make you too uncomfortable. You're not um, uncomfortable. I know you. You're okay talking about sex. This one ain't. Am I the only one on the planet? Seriously? <laughs> Anyways, we hope this just kind of loosened things up for you in your brain so that you can just get on. <laughs> I don't know, maybe you should edit that. No. Oh. So we enjoyed having this conversation with you as always. Please check back daily. We upload videos all the time. Um, we're just so privileged that you spend time with us. Um, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or you can jump over to our blog at www.inbetweenfriends.com. Again, thanks so much for being here and we'll talk to you soon. Have a great day.